मेरा नाम जुगल है मेरा नाम है वीथी मेरा नाम कृपा है आशीफ विजय हर्षद रेहान अजय विशाल जीना अंकित शिवम प्रियंका अनिकेत ओम रवि आकांक्षी हर्षद साहिल मेरा नाम शिल्पा है और मैं यहाँ पे काम करती हूँ लालू जी के साथ एक दिन का पचास रुपया हाँ। मेरा नाम कुनाल है मैं यहाँ चाय की दुकान पे काम करता हूँ और मैं सुबह सात बजे से ग्यारह बजे तक काम करता हूँ ग्लास धोने का ये सब लोग को चाय पिलाने का काम करता हूँ फिर वापस पाँच बजे आके सात बजे तक काम करता हूँ दिन का मेरे को सौ रुपये देते मेरा नाम आया ने सुबह पाँच बजे उठ के सब्जी लेने जाना पड़ता है दादर में सेठ साढ़े नौ दस बजे तक लगाता आता है जब जब तक मैं ही धंधा संभालता हूँ पानी मारने का काम तो बेचने का थोड़ा मैं करता हूँ अभी इधर एक साल से काम कर रहा हूँ मेरा नाम नरेश मैं यहाँ एक साल पहले आया था जब मैं नया आया था तब मुझे साफ सफाई और सब काम कर मिलना मिलता था पर थोड़े दिन के बाद मैं पंचर बनाना भी सीख गया अभी कुछ दिन पहले मैं भी मैकेनिक इंजन मैकेनिक का काम भी सीख रहा हूँ इसके पहले मैं भोपाल में था अच्छा नहीं लगता था घर पर On and on it goes, like a bank that swells and shrinks, but never stops breathing. On and on goes in a city that never sleeps, where the people don't stop moving. On and on it goes, but for some people, this is where life changes, where it begins and where it ends. This is where they come when they can't take it anymore, and they have to escape. This is their route to run away. Every day, hundreds of children of all ages run away from their homes and are found at railway stations of big cities. A fight at home, the feeling of constant loneliness, or just mere ignorance may have caused them to take this drastic measure. But even though reasons to run away may be different, their fates are all the same. A few are luckier and get the help that they need. Organizations pick them up and give them the shelter, the food, and the education that every child requires. And although this is nothing compared to the environment of their real homes, it is a far cry from fighting to survive on the streets. Fewer still return to their homes. Perhaps if we tried to understand them better, perhaps if we guided them better. when they needed it the most or perhaps if they just knew that they were loved and wanted sadness anger unwanted child frustrated i don't want any kid you know to suffer this lying on the road alone hungry uh, would be happy if i can get you know one meal uh, a day or maybe once in two days uh, i want the readers to have a positive approach to any kid you see uh, and to empathize uh, help them as much as you can give a hug it makes a lot of difference to them maybe not to you the scar which comes in in, in any of this children child abuse and thing like that will never go uh, even today i'm trying my best to rub it away it's not going unfortunately sometimes just lending an ear talking and being supportive 
put a hand around his shoulder or her shoulder give a nice hug it matters more than feeling i was lucky to have found my way back to a normal life i hope this book contributes in helping them not to undergo the same torture what i am about